What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, it was actually the first day of the second year here in year two. And uh, oh man, it's actually, yeah, it's 11.20 right now. <laughs> Remember, we actually ended last episode uh, basically at, at the end of the day here, but uh, let's see. So, uh, Iron Bar, you know what? Yeah. Uh, oh, I can make it right now. I was trying to make, because we're, we're smelting gold bars at the end of the last episode. I want to make the, uh, the extra sprinklers over here. Yeah, quality sprinkler. There we go. Boom. I think I need more. Uh, yeah, I need more iron if I want to make another one. But I think we just need one over here for the uh, ancient seeds. I think we planted them down all the way down. Yeah, right here. So uh, there. OK, so now those are going to be automatically watered, which is going to be great. So I don't have to worry too much about them. The only ones I'm going to have to actually manually water is all the cauliflower over here. And we got to, what is that? Mudstone. Ooh. Oh, you have to give that to the uh, to the museum as well. Okay, interesting. Huh. Anyways, uh, do I have any more geodes I want to process here? Oh yeah, we've got like frozen. Oh yeah, there's no, uh, another uh, geode there. I guess I'll do the frozen one then. Oop, there. Oh cool. Uh, I also did a uh, do one. Oh yeah. By the way, I didn't even tell you guys all the heck of seeds we planted last episode. <laughs> so we got like a hundred uh, cauliflower seeds over here. We got like a bunch of parsnip seeds over here. I think these are potatoes. These are rice shoots here. And then down here we have the green beans because we have the, uh, the sticks or whatever that are kind of in the way. Then I forget what else is down here, but we got, I think, 12 of each flower over here, which is good. So that's why we have the bee houses over here. And of course, down here we have the ancient seeds. You guys did say, hey, whenever you get the ancient seeds, like whenever they're done, you definitely want to put them in the seed machine over here. Get more seeds and just kind of keep planting them down over and over again you know so uh definitely want to try and do that when we actually uh get the ancient seeds back and i don't know if there's anything else i want to do here do we already uh it's almost 1 a.m let, let me go check about the chickens see if we have any mayonnaise to go get uh yes we do and there oh man there are chickens in the way i think i just woke one up did i wake any up right there i hope not <laughs> get all the way there we go just sneak right past him it's 12 50 i guess i'll go check up on the uh the oh I don't, did i do that oh, see this is what Oh, yeah, yeah, we already checked up on the, the mushrooms. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. I guess we'll see if we can uh, sell anything real quick. Oh, what? Oh, man, I accidentally right-clicked right there, and I went inside. What the? <laughs> and we got a stone from the heckin' geode machine. There you go. Uh, put the geode. There you go. Cool. Uh, I do want to also... Yeah, yeah, Let's put the Christmas tree up over here real quick, by the way. 110. Let's put that up. Anything else over here that can go up? No. And yeah, we, we have uh, spring seeds right here, too. I don't know. I, I, I might just plant those. Maybe I don't know about right now, but... Because we, we have foraging... And stuff that we could definitely get here in the future. I, I, it's 110. I guess, I guess we could just sell some of the stuff, and I don't know if we have enough time because I have to go around all the heckin' green beans and stuff, right? So sell that, and I don't know what else we could sell. Then we're going to keep pretty much everything else, and we'll worry about it tomorrow, right? So let's go down here real quick. And it's 120. Oh man, we're, we're really cutting it close here, you guys. I guess down here we could actually plant the spring seeds. So that would be the hoe. Let's get the hoe. Here we go. And there you go. Cool. So let's plant them here. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. There you go. 140. Oh my gosh. Then the seeds, they go here. Oh my god. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, that's all of them. 140. Oh, jeez. I didn't even fertilize them. 150. We should be able to make it back inside the house again. I keep getting comments from you guys as well saying I need to move the bed over. And I might just do that. Hold on. Can I? I'm right next to the bed. You kidding me? <laughs> Falling asleep right outside the bed. That's so weird. All right. Then well, we, at least we got a thousand gold overnight there from all the mayonnaise that we sold. But hey, there you go. That's the end of day two, starting out day three. I, I do want to look at the calendar here in just a minute because I do know Kent's birthday, the new guy's birthday, is this. Okay, so it's tomorrow. So definitely want to remember that. I did get a comment from you guys saying, uh, apparently he likes daffodils. So if we uh, go foraging and find some daffodils, yeah, definitely want to give that to him for his birthday. Uh, let's check up on the weather report because it rained yesterday. I don't know what it's going to be today. Uh, I don't know what that means up there. <laughs> Anyways, we have a cloud with light breeze. Is that what this is? Like light cloudy list? I don't know. Uh, expect lots of pollen. Ooh, is that what that is then? I guess it's just a bunch of pollen in the air or whatever that is right there. Huh. Anyways, uh, somewhat annoyed today, man. And then Queen of Sauce. Let's see what the recipe is for today. Stir fry. I think we already have that. I'm not 100% sure. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. I think I think I remember reading that. So there you go. I also got a comment from you guys saying to, to make like a butum sound effect with the heckin' flute block in the uh, the drum block. I want to see how we make another drum because I think uh, stone, copper, and fiber. I guess we could do that. I don't know if we'll end up doing that like right now, but it's definitely doable. <laughs> but uh, let's put all that stuff up but uh gold ore yeah we're one short away from getting another gold going so that kind of sucks there i guess i keep some coal in my inventory to uh continue processing geodes and all the kind of stuff right so uh wood and all this kind of stuff yeah definitely want to put all this up as well so there you go and sap why am i not putting up the sap there you go uh, we definitely do want to go donate 
what are we going to donate? I, I guess we'll put these up in this chest over here. That and that, because we already donated them. Oh, wait, that's a mineral. Ooh. Uh, but that, yep, we already donate that. And yeah, we need to donate this mudstone to the museum, so don't want to forget about that. Maple syrup. Uh, I forget which one that one's for. Is that for the bee nest? I feel like it might be. Yes, it is. Okay, so I do want to make another one of these. Even though the flowers aren't done, at least we'll have it done. Uh, eight coal, one iron bar. I don't know if we have enough coal. Yeah, we do not. We don't have any coal. We only have two right there, so that kind of sucks there. Uh, I guess if anything, we could get coal by putting wood inside the uh, the coal, like, kiln or whatever. That, I forget what that thing's called. Oh, and you guys did say I could uh, right-click, or is it sh or shift-click? Something like that. Some Something to get... Well, I guess, yeah, this this helps out quite a bit when trying to make, like, a bunch of something. But, uh, yeah, that, that gets you a hundred right there, or a split and a half, or something like that, I forget. Uh, instead of having to spam click all these, I keep forgetting about that. But, uh, anyways, how much wood do I need? I don't know how much. I'll, I'll grab it all back. And then <laughs> with a broken CD, let's put these in the recycling machine over here. I uh, definitely want to keep on remembering to use that. And then we have another rare crow. We need to take care of speed grow. I don't know if we'll end up using that. Let's get some more random trash here and put inside the recycling. Yeah, literal trash. I think we got stone out of that previously, which is so weird, but <laughs> there you go. Let's go outside, see if there's anything going to happen. No. Oh, hey, yes. Okay, so we have the uh, the cherry blossom, like, like, like leaves or whatever flowing in the wind. That's what that icon is. Okay, cool. Let's get another uh, geode process. Blip, there you go. And I did get a comment from guys, and I do agree with it, saying I should definitely switch the barn and the, uh, the, the coop around if I can. I, I definitely want to go pay a visit to Rob and see if we can actually uh, switch those around. Let's actually milk this cow. How do I do? Oh, yeah. There we go. We just got some milk. I don't know how I'm milking you while I'm in front of you. Oh, wait. Did that work? Is that working? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it now. Nice. All right. Oh, oh more chickens up there. Yeah, I definitely want to remember to pet the chickens. So let's uh, pet every chicken. I already pet that cow there. I guess I'll go check on the chickens real quick. And yep, there we go there. And oh, yeah, you guys did say there might have been an egg behind this. So I guess I'll move this bag. Just, so, just in case there is an egg back there, I'll be able to see it, right? So... There you go, refeed all these guys. Just in case, uh, do I have all the eggs? I guess, I don't know, maybe? There's another egg here, and wow, we got an iridium egg there. Do we get a, uh, an iridium, what do you call it, mayonnaise last time? I forget. And you guys also did say, hey, you definitely want to make a uh, cheese machine similar to the uh, mayonnaise machine we have right there. And I think, uh, yep, there, or cheese press. So yeah, we need wood, we need hardwood, copper. We can do that. We have tons of stone as well. I guess we'll go get the ingredients we need for that. Then uh, I, I guess, oh, and pet this chicken. Oh, I guess we already petted that one. Okay, cool. But let's go check on the mushroom cave over here. Ah, red mushrooms, and we got a uh, moral or whatever right there. Brown mushrooms or red mushrooms. I forget what you really need red mushrooms for. I do know that you need like one of every type of mushroom to get the life elixir. So I guess that's one use of it, I think. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that an aquamarine or no, it's an opal. Man, I keep I keep messing up these heckin' mineral gem things. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, we're running low on the geodes and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to go inside. And uh, we, we can make the bee nest a little bit later once we have more coal. But for right now, wow, we get the refined quartz from the broken CD. And there we go, get another piece of uh, stone right there. Cool. So let's get some more random trash processed. I guess we'll get uh, some more stone out of that. I don't know how I'm not, like, feeling the stone inside the trash. But there you go. Let's grab the copper. And what else do we need? I think we just needed a bunch of stone, right? So there we go, 140. Get the cheese press. Oh, yeah, hardwood, yeah. So let's go and start eating into our hardwood, unfortunately. I guess we'll get two of them, just so we could use the milk, or the two milk that we're going to get from two cows every day. We'll be able to turn that into cheese, so that'd be pretty good. And I assume it's similar to the mayonnaise, where it just kind of inflates the the the, the value of the cheese, or the mayonnaise, or got the milk into what mayonnaise is, basically, compared to eggs, right? So uh, that's pretty cool. So anyways, put up all that there, and cherry bombs. I guess we'll put that up, because I'm probably not going to go mining for a little while, and we already donated the opal. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Am I putting these in the right thing? I don't know. I definitely want to have another chest for like minerals and gems and whatever else over here because I keep on, I keep putting these in the wrong spot, I think. Uh, mudstone. Yeah, yeah, all these. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll put up the extra stone over here too, right? I think so, yeah. And then the extra wood too. There we go. And <laughs> the extra hardwood and copper as well. <laughs> there we go. Put all that stuff up here. I'll be back here in just a minute because I'm going to be trying to craft something, I bet, right? Golly. But yeah, right here. This is going to be the first time we're going to be watering with the upgraded uh, steel watering can. So how much can I water with this? Is this fully upgraded? Oh, I'm like, that's not even bad. That's actually not bad at all. It's actually good to, because we could, remember, we could do that and then just stand in the same spot. Boom. This is actually pretty heckin' good here, you guys. Not bad at all. Let me actually uh, put another geode inside there. Get that a processing. And how am I going to do? Oh, another frozen geode. I think frozen... Oh, man, I'm out of... Yeah, I'm out of coal now. Golly. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to put wood inside the... Like, 
charcoal kiln or whatever the thing's called over there. Whoops. Forgot to do that, and I put up the heckin' water, or, uh, the wood already. I'd see, I told you guys I was probably going to go, have to go back inside there, because I forgot about something. <laughs> and there it is immediately. And yeah, everything over here is all automatically watered because of the sprinklers, so that's good. The only thing we have to manually water is all the, uh, all this, uh, what do you call it over here? Cauliflower, that's what it's called. Uh, some of the cauliflower was already starting to grow, uh, and we cannot do that method this way, I think, right? So I guess, I guess we could do this, actually. There you go. It's not going to take up all my stamina, which I'm already low on because I think I went to bed at a terrible time last night, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, this is so much easier than trying to do like whatever we're doing last time where we had like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like we had an area over here. We had an area over here. The only easy part we had last time was all the uh, the forging things because I at least made that a little bit easier, right? But at least this time around, yeah, we could do this. No problemo. And I think I might be overwatering. Yeah, see, I'm overwatering here. And now I'm out of water, man. Or at least I can just go over here and fill this up. Yep, there you go. Cool. And I'm good to go. And down here. And I think this should be everything over here, right? Uh, did we make that bee nest? Oh, oh me. I keep on forgetting about that. We literally can't because I don't have enough heck and coal. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> but I do want to see. So we have this. I, I believe eight tiles is how much uh, each scarecrow does. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So about right here is where it'll stop. And then if we have like the, the scarecrows like overlap or whatever, they should be able to uh, go out to like, I'd say 12 tiles. So if I did that, I guess we could put that scarecrow, this other one, this rare crow, put this one back like here, I guess, right? That's probably good. I haven't encountered any crows yet. I'm like, I literally just placed you down. I don't know if you can remember the, the crows you did beforehand, but uh, anyways, eat the common mushrooms, Blip. eat some of those bad boys. And I don't know which, uh, which cow we already milked. I guess we'll go check real quick. Was it that chocolate cow or was it the the white cow? I forget. Let's go see. So this one. Am I getting another? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. We got them. And we got pine tar over here. I forget what you need pine tar for. I think it's either the keg or the preserving jar or something like that. I forget. Uh, oh, yeah. And then you guys said that the, the critters only like eat like wheat or uh, tall grass or whatever, like a certain distance from the barn and the, the chicken coop. So I think this might be a little bit too far away. So I'm going to. There you go cut all this up just to make sure stuff does not start spreading towards the farm, especially weeds like that. So, yeah, I definitely want to take care of that. I think because we have both cows milked, we can actually go place down these two cheese makers inside of the barn. I guess we'll pay Robin a visit because it's 1 p.m. right now. She's probably who knows where she at is right now. Let's actually put these next to the entrance if I can. There you go. Cool. And there we go. So what do we do? We just put the milk inside of that? Yep, there you go. Just like the, uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Let me actually put the hay up here as well. Uh, but yeah, just like the uh, the mayonnaise machine. So really, really uh, useful. There you guys. I don't know why I'm going over here. There you go. <laughs> and let's fill this up. There you go. That way I don't have to worry about the cows too much. Not like I know that they're eating outside and whatnot, but in case they can't find anything, hey, at least they have something there to eat, to eat all right? So there you go. Cool. Don't know if I got every uh, chicken petted over here, though. Mm, I don't know. But there you go. There's one there. Yeah. So looking at my list of things to do, I do want to also... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go check them on uh, Robin see if we can actually switch a couple of things around. But I do want to also uh, place down some fences down there as well. You guys saw that I, I was purposely not planting anything like one tile away from the pathways and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of where I want to place down the fences. And I guess that would help, you know, keep chickens and, and, and the cows and all that kind of stuff out of our crops. Not have to worry about them like eating them or trampling them or whatever. If they even can. I don't even know if they can. <laughs> let's go over here. Hey, look at that, Mara. Let's talk to you. On Tuesdays and Thursday, I work at the Harvey Clinic. He says he likes having me around in case a medical equipment goes haywire. Okay, that's good. Being a farmer must be pretty easy, huh? No, yeah, right. Like, golly, did you see last episode? I was working literally day to like sunrise to sunset and then even more. Like, literally until 2 a.m. <laughs> but either way, Robin over here, upgrade. Uh, okay, construct farm buildings. Can you move the coop? Now, is this freeze this instant? Like, what happens? Choose a look. So if I do this... And then I move it, like, say, here. Because I, I, I kind of want to switch these two, honestly. I don't know if I can. I might have to get rid of the, uh, that little log right there. I think my dog's in the way right there, unfortunately. Man! I, know, I, I guess, if anything, I could put the, uh, the coop here. I think they're almost the same size. I guess I'll put it, like, right here, then. Hmm. I put it right here, temper. Is that instant? I guess it is. Hey, look at that! A, a chicken! <laughs> Did I take the coop out of there while a chicken was inside? I feel like so. Man! So I now have, to, now have to wait until the heck and, and then move that out of the way, move the torch out of the way. Golly. Mm, yeah, there's nothing else I could do here. I guess if anything, we just move it over here, but I like how close everything is over here, you know? Man. I guess I'll put it right here at least for right now. I don't know. Man, I'll have to come back here in just a minute. Golly. Is there anywhere else I could put this stuff? Down here, we, yeah, we have the tree and, and the torch and all that kind of stuff, which is okay. Like here we have trees and yeah, we have the barn and all this kind of stuff. 
Man. And then we have the trees. Yeah, see, we really need to heck and plan things out a little bit better, but... Uh, see, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's just leave it as is. That's, that's probably fine, honestly. We have 20,000 gold. That's actually pretty heckin' good. Let's actually shop, see if we have anything over here. One stone for 100. Oh, yeah, you know something I forgot to do last episode? Was buy... When crafting here, you'll have to access... Oh, oh yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that right now. But I do want to buy... Or go go down to the special requests thing, because we forgot to do that last episode, didn't we? Uh, long session, brick, fireplace, all this kind of stuff, furnishing catalog. 200,000 right there, golly. <laughs> then here's the beds and all the kind of stuff, yeah. I guess we'll just leave the beds as is. Uh, and then here we have a bunch of pathways and all the kind of stuff, like recipes for pathways. So don't need to worry about that too much, but I do want to go down here. And I think because it's springtime, we don't have that much like luck finding worms like we did during the wintertime. I think during the wintertime, we had way more possibility of finding worms in the ground, so... I'm still going to look out for them, but I'm not seeing any of them right now, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. don't think we need to go to community center for anything, but I do want to go over here. See if we... Okay, no quest there. I guess we'll check up on the trash cans, even though we have bad luck today. But I, I'll still check up on it. Oh, there you go. And hopefully the butterflies don't tattle on me or anything like that, right? Because I saw the butterflies flying around. There you go. Yeah, let's check up on this. It's Wednesday. I'm missing out on a couple days already, but whatever, right? For unknown reasons, the local population of river fish has grown to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers so we can do biome balance like we have in the past for Demetrius or the strong stuff over here for Pam. I don't think we've ever done anything for Pam, but it is a 12 day thing here. Heard there's a spirit made out of potatoes that really packs a wallop. If you know what I mean, you mind dropping a few taters into a keg and bringing me a batch or two? 12 days. Now, I don't know how long, how long does it take to get things in the keg? Like, how long? Is, I don't know. 12 days sounds like it's more than enough. Now, is, uh, we're growing potatoes right now. I don't know if we have potatoes just sitting around. But she wants how many? Uh, dropping a few ta- I guess two or three? Oh, oh, here we go. Bring me a batch or two. I, I, oh, whoops. This one's for fishing. This is a, this is this is a new type of quest we haven't done before. I think I'm going to do the strong stuff here. I do want to look up though. Hold on. Let's let's, let's do that thing again. Hold on. How do I do that? Is this it? Here we go. So if we get like a keg, how long does it tell me how long things take here? Uh, oh man, it even says I have uh, seven of these bad boys. That's pretty cool. So a keg is. Oh man, it even tells you uh, what we've done over here. So yeah, we we put wheat in the keg and got beer. We put coffee beans in there and got. I don't think we did that, did we? Yeah, I don't think we did. I thought this was showing us like stuff we actually used for it, but no. Uh, we put honey in it to get mead. Ooh, hops to get pale ale. Uh, yeah, it just says eventually it'll turn into a beverage. It doesn't say how long though. Tea leaves. Yeah, you guys said to get like a tea tree, which we actually have the recipe for now. And I don't know why I didn't plant it down. Tree fertilizer. Where's the tea tree at? Is that it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea sapling. Yeah, the wild seed. Oh, I could have used those that I planted down. Man. But yeah, we can get these here. It takes 20 days to mature, produces tea leaves during the final week of each season, except for winter. No watering necessary. So if we plant these, these will be done just in time for the last week of spring and actually get us some tea. So yeah, definitely makes sense. Definitely want to go home and try and make some wild seeds. <sighs> We're going to need, I think, four and, and four, four foraging things and one of each one. And <sighs> unfortunately, I planted down those already. Man, I don't think we could buy those, which, by the way, definitely want to go to Pierre and try and buy uh, whatever he might have that's new, because I don't think we have anything new yet, though. But I guess for right now, because we're already growing potatoes and all that kind of stuff, I'll accept this quest, especially because it's different from the fishing quest, and it's a 12-day one, so, you know, us starting a little late here, this might actually make up for it, so I'm going to accept this one, the strong stuff for Pam, even though I probably shouldn't, you know, continue her alcohol, like, intake and all that kind of stuff, right? At least we're going to get a new mission there. <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Oh, wait! Well, we have a uh, friendship event here with Gus, I guess, huh? Oh, hello there, buddy. What's happening in here, Gus? He's just standing there, sitting, sitting at the table. What's he doing? <sighs> I'm just looking over last month's earnings, and well, it's not looking very good, Waffle. The worst thing is, I hate to say this because she's my friend. It's Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks, but I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive, and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Oh yeah, she's here like literally every day. She's like your biggest customer, but at the same time, she's not even paying. So is she really your biggest customer at that point? I don't know. Waffle, you gotta help me. All right, you want me to pay to visit? Oh, there she is. Pam. Hiya. You open, Gus? <laughs> Gus, I'm awful thirsty if you catch my drift. And now Gus is sweating over here because he knows she won't pay. Uh, well, uh, okay, Pam. Am I going to interject here and tell Pam that she has to pay her tab? Waffle, what's going on here? 
You need to pay your tab right now. The saloon isn't doing well financially. Oh, man, should I say this? Should I say this? And she'll kind of catch, catch our drift and be like, maybe it's not doing well financially because I'm not paying off my tab. Or should I just be blunt and be like, you need to pay your tab right now or you're not going to quench your thirst. Okay, maybe not be that, that <laughs> front and blunt about it. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of, it's just me though. I kind of want to do this one. The saloon isn't doing well financially and hopefully she'll understand, right? Hopefully I don't have to get too blunt about it. It isn't. That's terrible. Oh. Oh, did she realize? Did she just realize? Uh-oh, she's getting angry. She's getting, oh man, what's happening? <sighs> well, I guess I'd better pay off that tab then. Oh, you're right, Pam. Oh, what, what was happening? Did she just pay off her whole entire tab? Hey! Thanks, Pam. I guess she did. Hey, that's awesome. I wonder what happened if I, I did the other one and I was just like, you need to pay off your tab. She probably would have done the same thing, but we probably get like negative like friendship points with her or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and thank you, Waffle. See, look at that. We helped out Gus. Now let's get you that drink, Pam. All right. See, all you had to do was, well, we didn't, we didn't even ask, but uh, all you had to do was just kind of uh, allude to the tab, I guess. And then, then it gets paid. <laughs> I don't think we need to buy anything from Gus, but I do want to go over here to Pierre before it. Oh, yeah, he's closed on Wednesdays. I forgot about man. And I don't think the Joja Mart sells because I think it's exclusive to to Pierre, right? Man, that sucks. Anyways, I guess we'll go over here. I don't know if I'll end up going actually going. Hey, look at that. David. OK, yeah, you know what? Let's keep that for what is his name? Kent for his birthday. I, I guess we'll check up on Jojo. My hand. Look at that. Pam teleporter over here. She's now she's chopping over here. I don't know how. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything here that's new. Potato, cauliflower, bean, parsnips. Yeah, every, everything here looks the same. I think, I think, yeah, if I wanted to get that new crop, we had to go to Pierre. And unfortunately, he's closed today, so can't buy anything over there. Man, that really sucks. That really stings. I do want to go inside the museum. Let's go over here. Hey, look at that Abigail over here. We have four books that still need to be read. <laughs> Donate that, uh, what is that thing? Mud pile or whatever this thing's called. So we'll put that, uh, let's put it up here. All right, oh, cool. Never even read about that. I need to read about it real quick. Didn't even get a gift right there. Man, that sucks. Oh, yeah, someone said, how do I check? Do I, is it achievements? How do I check how many things I've donated to the museum here? I guess I can just go over here and physically count all of them, but someone said whenever you donate like 60 things to the museum, which I don't know, we're probably getting up there. Uh, you're supposed to get that key to the sewer from the, uh, from Gunther right there, so... That's definitely something we should look forward to, you guys. Definitely want to make sure we're donating everything over here, right? But it's probably going to be... Is it a, I don't know if it's a mineral. It might... Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. A fine-grained rock made from ancient mud or clay. Or clay or mud. I did it the other way around, but whatever. I'm like, that's kind of self-explanatory, right? <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else we want to do? It's 12 or 4 at 20. A pretty uh, blazing time of the day. Uh, we have five other stuff over here. I don't know. And then we, we can't really, we're just kind of playing the waiting. Hey, look at that, we have Penny over here. We're just kind of playing the waiting game, honestly, with the uh, the whole potato, keg, all that kind of stuff, right? And yeah, we already talked to Penny about living in Pelican Town her whole entire life, right? Let's talk to Jazz. Hi. And can't talk to you anymore. Let's talk to uh, Vincent over here, too. I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. <laughs> it's a tough choice. Oh, well, go look, the, look at those bugs and then, I don't know, wash yourself off afterwards. Go into the river or something like that. Hey, what do you have to say, Elliot? The forest is a wonderful place. Have you been? I literally live there. There's a forest in my and farm area. I have to cut it down and all that kind of stuff. Jeez. Hey, yeah, I never want to go down here and forage for things down here at the beach. Don't want to forget about that, you guys, especially because, uh... Oh, wait, no, that's during the summertime, isn't it? Where there is, like, a higher likelihood of... Like, 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 a few weeks during, like, literally the entire summertime, there's, like, more, like, foraging things on the, on the beach. I don't think that was during springtime, was it? Man, that kind of sucks. And I'm not seeing any worms right now, which really sucks, but at least we got a few things worth a pretty good amount of money. Look at that bird. Click on the bird. That's what's happening. Man, attack the bird. <laughs> don't want to do that. Golly, I wonder what happened if I actually did attack the heckin' pelican right there. That would have been crazy. I'd, I'd probably get kicked out of pelican town for killing a pelican. <laughs> I don't know, let's go back. I guess we'll back, go back to the farm. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we do need to go, because we just, especially because we just spent some hardwood making uh, the cheese makers. I forget how much. Only like four or something like that, right? But I do want to go to that secret forest. Oh, hey, look at that, Marnie. Let's talk to you. Oh, yeah, she's... <laughs> I don't think we talked to her when we're wearing these heckin' pants, so let's take our pants off and use our underwear, I guess. <laughs> we're more talk to -able whenever we're talking in our underwear to Marnie. <laughs> You could use a site to cut uh, feed from. I'm like, that's that's obvious, right? Golly. Or buy from me, of course. Oh, man, she's trying to heckin' I could use the cash. 
<laughs> I know because you're paying or uh, charging way too much for it. <laughs> but she's literally trying to put herself out of business over here. Golly. But anyways, let's go back over here and go to that uh, secret woods or whatever it's called. And uh, Penny and wait, what happened to Vin? Oh, yeah, I bet Penny's over here uh, walking F1 home. That's probably what this is. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. I didn't even think about that. That's a pretty cool little bit of detail there. I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, we could also forage for things over here, too. Yeah, so we have a uh, leak or what was that? Wild horse rash. What did leaks look like? I forgot. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting about this heckin' stuff over here. We have driftwood and then we have Leo over here. Sometimes I think it's impossible to live without destroying nature in some way. Well, I'm like, nature is going to destroy us in the end, right? So, uh, don't worry about it, I guess. <laughs> and then she'll literally destroy our dead bodies whenever heckin' worms eat us. Stuff, <laughs> which is so, <laughs> so grim to think about, golly. But hey, at least we're getting recycled or whatever, right? So, let's go over here. Hey, whoa, you can actually find these moral things just out in the open. We got double of them right there. Ooh, really good stuff. And hopefully we still get hardwood from these, right? Yeah, two hardwood from each one. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, and wow, another one right there. And yeah, we have another uh, horse rash right there. Cool. Kill these heckin' slime guys. There you go. Kill them. And there you go. Cool. Uh, I don't know if we'll end up going. Should we go back to the mines already? Because I need, I need coal to make more bee houses and, of course, to smell stuff in general. I don't want to go back to the heckin' mines. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can go back to the mines because we haven't been there in a little while. We've been doing a lot of farm stuff lately. I think we're at level 95. So, hey, if we make it all the way down to level 100, that's going to be a pretty good milestone right there, right? Maybe we could do that for the uh, for the second half of the day. Or, I'm like, it's almost 8 p.m. right now. So, uh, I guess we just tend to the farm or something like that. And then we spend, oh, man, we got a uh, mahogany seed right there. Did we? Did I not pick that up? I guess not, yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Cool. I guess I'll get rid of the fiber. What am I going to do with it, right? Yeah, definitely want to upgrade the heckin' trash can. So, we, you know, everything we actually throw in the trash, we get a little bit of money back. Not that much, but at least a little bit of it, right? And then, how do I get out of here? Man, I'm stuck again. Man. There we go. Okay, golly. <laughs> how many times have I been here and I keep on getting stuck in there somehow? I don't know. <laughs> but I think, isn't tomorrow Kent's birthday? Yeah, definitely. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a Leah event. Uh, didn't we just have like two Leah events? Now we have another one. She's over here by the cherry. Oh, she's trying to reach for something up there. Look at that. She can't reach. She's jumping and she can't get it. Oh, Waffle, you scared me. <laughs> Look at how scared she looks, golly. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get on your shoulders and I can reach that fruit. Or maybe you can get on mine. I don't know. <laughs> See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. I don't know. Get on my shoulders and uh, I can propel you up and you can actually. Oh my God, it actually. <laughs> Hold on. Did I just pick her up and did it? What happened there? He <laughs> thanks. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Okay, got it. You're still so far away. How did the... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. You're stronger than you look. Oh yeah, I know. I'm a farmer strong. Farmer tough. <sighs> Here, try a piece. Oh man, I'll just eat the whole entire apple right there. Golly. <laughs> Oh man, that was pretty funny. Pretty cool little uh, little little friendship event right there. You know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me, <laughs> to catch me on the way down. Oh, that's pretty sweet too. That was a pretty good little friendship event, and then I teleport all the way over here. That was a pretty cool little little friendship event right there. I was kind of joking, like, oh man, I don't know, get on my shoulders, or I'll get on your shoulders, or whatever. But it literally happened right there. It's kind of crazy. I know. Let's try and mark our way, make our way back home. And, uh, oh yeah, do I have any bait over here? You guys said not to use the, uh, what's that called? Wild bait or whatever. Oh man, four gold star morals right there. That's crazy. Uh, but you guys said not to use those inside the, uh, the crab pots. So, yeah, I'm not going to put those down there. I need to use regular old bait because it doesn't make a difference whether we use, uh, the live bait or wild bait or whatever or the regular bait and don't want to use the expensive one if we don't have to, right? So, anyways, 9 p.m. right now. Uh, should I make those walls or whatever? Because we have a, we have a lot of stone. I guess we'll switch those two around. And I guess we can make, yeah, so we can make stone fences. We have so many heckin' stone. I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it. And then I get, I don't know. I guess we can get rid of that four wood right there. There you go. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, I get rid of that four wood. We already, we have hundreds already. So yeah, let's, let's get the stone fences. And I guess while we're walking back home, we could actually place these down. So that's going to be pretty cool and efficient. So yeah. Yeah. You guys did say shift click and that does five. I keep forgetting that. So I don't know. How many do I want to get? 150. That sounds like a good number. There you go. Cool. Then uh, we can start placing them down. And this is just where it goes straight up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is where it goes straight up and down. So we'll just place these like so. Man, I missed, how did I miss? Is there something there? Is there a worm there? Oh, there's a torch there. I forgot about that, man. I forgot about that. So there you go. Oh, yeah, and I do want to. I forgot about that, too. Yeah, I do want to go get. And can I place torches on the wall? I do want to see that, too. And uh, hold on. Let's do this. There. You go. Oh, wait, no, I already had a, a wall right there. I, I was about to say, can I not do that whenever it's. 
like tilled or whatever, but I guess uh, that still worked. So, oh man, this is actually, hmm, because this is blocked right here. I should definitely, uh, I don't know, we should have an entrance like right here or something. Yeah, let's place, place an entrance right here. There, so we can still go down here and tend to the crops and whatnot, right? So there you go. Uh, I don't know if we can actually have a, a gate or anything like that, but uh, there you go. Then uh, about right here or so. Meep. There you go. About right here, we could actually have an entrance or the entrance. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Cool. Look at that, you guys. And we still have plenty of walls, stone walls over here. And yeah, this is probably why you can't uh, place anything over here. So you could actually place a fence. Oh, I'm like, it's right up against the fence, but at the same time, it doesn't let me plant anything over here, right? I don't think so. So there you go. And I guess we'll uh, place that all the way down to there. There you go. Cool. And, uh, I don't know, we could probably place a bunch of torches and stuff down here, too. Yeah, whenever, whenever these things grow, I don't know, I really want to get rid of this right here, you know? I'd hate to, but I kind of have to, if I want to walk down there easily without having to go all the way around, you know? <laughs> Man, I kind of, like, trapped myself over here, which really sucks. But, uh, yeah, over here, I do want to get rid of, uh, like, like, stone, and we have this right here, and we had a chicken in the way at one point, too. So, yeah, get rid of that, and then get rid of that, and then use the sickle, scythe, there you go, you get rid of that, too. And I can't pick those up, but hopefully those aren't still technically in the way. <laughs> so there you go, cool. Uh, we still have 94 things right here. I guess, uh, yeah, you know what? About right here. I guess about right here, starting right here, we could actually do this. There we go. I guess we could have a, uh, an open slot right there. Oh, whoops. I guess we'd have an open slot. No, right here. There we go. Uh, just in case I want to get out. There we go. So we can go out on either side. Cool. It's almost midnight again. There we go. It's getting late. Yeah, it's yelling at me again. So there you go, cool. And I guess we could actually place the torches inside the, uh, the pathway, like we already do. Oh man, I have met. I'm probably getting comments about it. Literally at my pants right there. <laughs> so let's pick those back up. Uh, we can place the torches like this. There you go, in the actual pathway, so that's cool. Alright, so we actually have, uh, we actually have path, uh, walls, all that kind of stuff over here. I kind of want to keep this open, just so we can, we can tend to the trees and all that kind of stuff. But look at this, this is actually looking pretty cool, you guys, not bad. 12.30, I guess we can go to bed at a better time. <laughs> So there you go. Anything else we can put up? Yeah, yeah. So we have hardwood over here. There's our dog. Here, I put up all that. And we have anything else over here? Yeah, I forget the heck I put up the mayonnaise. Or not the mayonnaise! <laughs> the mushrooms. I forgot to put up the mushrooms. Uh, we have another driftwood. I think you get, uh, we have a chance of getting hardwood if we put that inside the recycling machine. So that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Then a uh, trash. Yeah, I'll keep on processing that. Yeah. Then uh, get, I'm like, all you really get out of that is stone, anyways, right? So let's get some more speaker stone. There you go. Stack that up and put that inside the slingshot again. Uh, 12.40. Yeah, I need, I need to sell some stuff, yeah. Don't want to forget about that, yeah. And then uh, we have slime stuff over here, so let's move anything. Oh, man, a couple things actually uh, stacked up right there. Oh, yeah, the mussels. I don't think that actually uh, is worth anything. So, yeah, I, I guess we'll keep it in case we need it for a recipe or anything like that. I, don't know, I might keep those candy canes right there, too, by the way. So, we have the gold star morals right here. I don't know. I don't want to sell them. Just get some money. Horseradish, kind of want to keep that. Uh, just so we could make the, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the spring forging bundle and all that kind of stuff. That, that sounds pretty good. And there's that. There you go. Oh yeah, I need to put up the heck and fertilizer. I keep, uh, keep forgetting about that. We have 30 mixed seeds. We actually picked up a ton there, you guys. Should probably have uh, planted those down. Man. I'll put those up in storage and maybe we'll do it tomorrow if I remember. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can give it the speed grow and then uh, it'll catch up with everything else, right? So that'd be pretty good. And then uh, red mushrooms. Yeah, I guess I'll put that up, put that up over. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, there you go. Cool. And I think that's it. Yeah, you can see I want to keep that. Then we have maple syrup. I guess I'll put that back up inside the there. Pine tar. I forget what we need that for. Then, uh, iron, all the kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, gee, yeah, see, I wanted to do mining. I completely forgot to do that. Golly. And I guess we'll just go to bed. It's 1 a.m. right now. I guess we'll just go to bed. I guess I could have gotten the, uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I guess, I guess we could have, uh, checked up on the cheese and all the kind of stuff over here. The cheese machine, the, uh, the, oh, yeah, I forgot the, what is, that? there's a tree in the way. Golly. Let's get the mayonnaise, get the mayonnaise, get the mayonnaise. There's only, there you go. There's only three of them right there for some reason. What is there? Is there an egg there? There is. There was an egg there this whole time. I didn't see it. Golly. I should probably put the, uh, the egg mayonnaise machines uh, on the top of the thing. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. We have cheese now. Cool. I think that's community center item. So I guess we could sell one just so we ship it. And then we could donate the other one, right? So it's 1.40 a.m. right now. Oh, my gosh. Again with the 2 a.m. memes. Golly. <laughs> There's the mayonnaise. And I think we're good to go. So let me, let me double check real quick. Uh, yep. Community center item. Awesome. Okay. So 1.40. Should still make it to the heckin' bed by now, right? Uh, oh man, look at that, we actually got some coal back, cool. Should be, make it into the bed, and we did! Awesome! For the first time in like three episodes, finally actually went to the physical bed without sleeping on the floor. So, <laughs> I guess that's good. Let's check up on farming, how much money we get out of that cheese? 230, honestly not bad. Honestly not bad, I'm like, gold star mayonnaise is 285, kinda makes sense. 
I feel like they're about to, if I had gold star cheese, we'd probably also get 285, right? So that's, I can't complain about that. That's, that's good money just by doing basically nothing, just f free money from our, uh, I can cows and stuff with that, right? 225 from each gold star moral though. That's pretty good. And then clams and coral over here too. Pretty decent money. 2,500 overnight in total. Can't complain about that one bit. I do want to go pay a visit to uh, Robin again, remember. I want to go uh, move the, whatever you call it. Your cherry tree wasn't able to, what? Was there something in the way? There probably was. Golly, that sucks. Ah, uh, there's probably like a weed or something like that in the way that we need to move out of the way. There you go. Yeah, get the broken seed. We can get the, uh, what is it called? Refined quartz out of that. So there you go. Cool. And yeah, let's go put up the, because uh, we have a, uh, a coal right now. Oh my gosh, a lot of things just finished right there. Cool. Uh, but I do want to put, what's I doing? Yeah, yeah, the geode. Let's get that. Let's get the frozen one because I think a frozen is, a, is above a regular one. So crystal fruit jelly, getting a ton of these done right now. Amazing. Uh, how, how do you make more of those? Isn't that the uh, pine or not the pine tar? Uh, no, it doesn't even need it. Yeah, see, this requires a lot of coal, just like the bee nest. So yeah, make sure uh, m it makes sense to go back to the mines to try and get a bunch more coal so I can actually do this or put a bunch of wood inside this heckin' charcoal kiln thing, but I don't know if we'll actually end up ever doing that, right? <laughs> Let's put up the, uh, I don't know. Should I plant the seed? I might. I might just plant the seeds, yeah. Speed grow. I might just use regular fertilizer, honestly. Hmm. I'm so conflicted over here. I'm like, we have plenty of fer basic fer fertilizer for all the mixed seeds. Yeah, I don't know. I I'll just use regular ones, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah, we have a few more coal, too, so we can actually take care of that other geode. Awesome. And then uh, we'll sell all the crystal fruit jelly. So there you go. And I think it's Kent's birthday today, right? So I guess we'll go pay him a visit and then uh, go make sure that he has that gift that uh, what was it called daffodil that we gave him. So yeah, the cherry tree. Oh, yeah, I'm, pro oh, I'm probably getting comments about it. Getting comments about it, I bet. Yeah, the cherry tree didn't grow because we have the wall here. I think it has to be clear a three, uh, like a three by three like this, right? That might be why. So hopefully whenever I go to bed again, it's not going to yell at me about those little bits right there. So anyways, pet the chickens. And I guess we'll go inside here, see if they have uh, eggs available. And yep, there you go right there. Is there another? Uh, yeah, there's another. Uh, golly. <laughs> we have another mayonnaise available as well. Man, and yeah, look at that. We're getting a... I don't know. Are the, are the chickens just more likely to give us iridium eggs whenever they're uh, like, like older and, and happy? I guess, yeah, the happiness rating. Yeah, it's pretty high right now. It's three, three hearts out of like five that maximum you can get. That's actually not bad. There you go, pet the chickens, make sure they're all pet and loved. There you go, pet our dog too, I haven't pet him in a while, so there you go. Got some more like, is that clay? Yeah, it's literally just clay, man, that's nothing. <laughs> let's get some more uh, geodes processed, and we'll see if we can actually move the, hey, look, there's the cow right there, cool. And let's milk, oh, he went back inside, man. Hold on, oh, they teleport, look at that. Milk you, and it looks like milking them actually does the heart thing for you, so I don't, yeah, I don't have to right click them again, cool. Put the uh, milk inside of here. I wonder what they think about literally like right in front of them just being turned into heck and cheese. <laughs> what do they think about that? Maybe they think it's good. I know it's 830 right now after getting those mushrooms. Uh, I do want to. And what's this? Oh, yeah. It's telling me about the strong stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, man, she wants 12. Oh, my gosh. So hold on. Uh, I need kegs for that, though. I don't know. I don't know if we could actually end up doing it, you guys. I'd have to go check. Do we have any potatoes over here? I forgot to go check. Uh, we have one, but I don't, we have no, oh wait, yeah, we do have some kegs available. Ooh, okay, so we could actually have one. We actually need 12. It sounds like she only wanted like one or two or three or whatever, but no. Apparently she wants 12 potato, like, whatevers we get out of that, putting potatoes inside the kegs. <laughs> so anyways, it's 9 a.m. right now. Robin should be open. I guess while we're out and about, we could also go uh, see what seeds Pierre has, because he should have a new seed, right? And remember, there is like supposed to be like a three-day event or something like that every season, except for like summer I, I forgot either summer or fall or especially during winter time uh, oh wait no i think you can get it during winter time uh, where you get berries on bushes and stuff like that right let's go to uh, pay linus a visit the people here seem nice but they avoid me i'm over here what are you talking about people are afraid of the unknown well uh make them not unknown go uh be friends with them i guess right i don't know either way any uh no worms over here man and hey look at that horse rash though yeah they want to continue uh forging stuff like that around here and by the way, I don't know how much hardwood we have now in total, but yeah, was it 15,000 and then 100 hardwood and then like however much stone and regular wood or whatever? We should be able to get that stable and then be able to move all around super duper quickly, but I do want to move. So if I just move buildings, I don't even have to check, uh, I don't have to select on coop. Yeah, so now we can move this back up here. Cool. Kind of want to move it about right here. Yes, yeah, move it there. So we can move the coop. Okay, yeah, you know what? This is fine because I like, I like being able to see this little, little garage or whatever right there. So yeah, this is fine. Even though some of the trees, all the all the cows, all the kind of stuff are in the way. I don't know why I was like looking at the side of the screen, but there you go. This is about the best play, and there's something right there blocking it again, so that kind of sucks. 
But right there, honestly, isn't too bad. So there, I can clearly see the door. I can, I can see the garage or whatever right there open. So yeah, that, that's not that. That's not that bad. And I guess while we're here, we can check on the stable. Because I was curious about that. Because I know I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, it's just five iron bar on top of that. Yeah, oh, and it's only 10,000. What was I thinking that was 15,000? It might have been the actual barn that I was thinking about. That was 15,000. Hmm. Either way, at least we have that done. Uh, let's go down to the community center. And then uh, while we're in this area, let's go down to uh, Pierre and go see what his new seed is and probably go plant that alongside the 100 or, or not one. Golly, I wish <laughs> the uh, 30 or so mixed seeds that we have, right? What was I doing? Where am I going here? Uh, I think you have to go up here for the cheese, which is a part of the uh, animal bundle, I believe, right? So let's actually see how we're doing here. Animal bundle. There we go. And put the cheese. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Where is it? It's not here. Artisan bundle? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is artisan bundle. Okay, I'm in the right place, but I was thinking about the wrong thing. Apple truffle oil. So I think we need pigs for that, right? Goat cheese. Don't have that orange peach. Then yeah, we need. To, uh, we're probably going to get the cherry honestly, because that thing is is growing, but it missed a day unfortunately. Apricot and then apple. I don't know when we're going to get the apple because we don't have an apple tree. And then goat cheese. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get next honestly. Man. But other than cherry, because there's only going to be one spot down here open when we have the cherry finally from the cherry tree. But I don't know what's going to be next to apple, truffle oil, goat cheese. Who knows? But at least we donate that. So that's good. And then we'll be that much closer to getting the greenhouse. And then, yeah, once we actually do have the greenhouse, you guys said to move the ancient seeds into the greenhouse. So it grows all year round and stuff, stuff like that. Right. So I don't know if there's anything else in my inventory that is community centerable. I guess you could describe it as. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I guess we'll just move that there. And then I guess we'll go, yeah, go pay Kent to visit, give him and uh, give him the silver a star a daffodil, which I don't even know if that even uh, silver star even makes any difference right there, but ugh, whatever. I guess we'll go down here and go check on Pierre and then uh, just head down a little bit. Oh, look at that. We have another uh, regular quest or whatever here to check up on. Let's see what this is. I need earth crystal to rub on my sore legs. What? <laughs> Please bring one as soon as you can. We can do that. We have like dozens of earth crystals back at the base, uh, back at the farm. 150 gold and then give it to Emily and then Emily will be pleased. Yeah, we can do that. No problem. Let's go check about Pierre. See what he's selling that's new. Welcome to Pierre's. Parsnip bean, tulip kale, garlic. That's got to be it. That's new. Only four days. Honestly, I like that. That's honestly not bad. I think we can make like mm, two more sprinklers right now. Either two or one more sprinkler. So we can definitely we can put those down there where the ancient seed is and all the kind of stuff. Let, let's get man. I don't know. At least eight. Maybe I'll get like 16, honestly. It, it grows so fast. Yeah, 16, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because I, I don't want to have too many things that aren't like connected up to an auto sprinkler yet. We can always come back here a little bit later. It grows so fast. Four days and then boom, it's done. I don't think we have to worry about that too much, but uh, I, I just don't want to have too many things that aren't that, that rub, I don't want to have too many things that rely on me manually sprinkling, spring, watering them, I guess you could say. <laughs> sprinkling them. I don't even see any pennies over here. I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. Well, hey, maybe uh, maybe we'll start dating. I'll marry you. You can move in and we'd have a heckin' giant garden back at my farm. I'm like, I literally already have a giant garden, but you know what I mean. Maybe I'll live in a place where I can have a garden someday. Ah, I don't know. She's kind of alluding to something there, you guys. Maybe I'll live on a farm. <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely talking about us right there, you guys. Golly. Yeah, look at how close we are right there. Do we have anything to give her as a gift? I don't know. Give her some garlic seeds. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Mixed seeds? Mushroom? I don't know. What Do we have any? Uh, did we give her heart horseradish before? Because we had two there. Hold on. Uh. Oh, yeah. I guess if anything. Yeah, we could do this. Where is she on this? Haley. There she is right there. So if I do this, F1. How do we do that? I think I thought you were able to do it whenever you were hovering over someone's name. I guess you can't. Uh, oh, yeah, you can do it whenever you're hovering over them like this, right? Yeah, there you go. So is this going to tell me things that we already know? Yeah, neutral gift daffodil. So it's going to be a neutral gift if I give her that daffodil there. Hmm. And I, I think it's green because we have that in our inventory, which is really, really cool. So she did like the prehistoric skull and the emerald. I don't know. Maybe I'll give her an emerald. I feel like we have one. She like loves poppies. And of course, because we have that uh, progression mode or whatever turned on, it's hiding a bunch of things that we don't already know about. Uh, so that's really cool. It's nice and uh, nice and balanced that away, right? Next uh, level up or whatever in 43 points. I think that's new. I don't think it's ever told us that before. So that's really cool. Uh, but over here, Haley, I guess uh, I guess we'll try and build a relationship with you, too. I've decided I'm, or, you know, a non hateful relationship. I guess you describe it as <laughs> I decide I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all the last year's styles and make room for new ones. Uh, golly, uh, why throw them out? Just donate them or something like that. Golly, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to start hating on her again. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I forgot to check up on the luck and all that kind of stuff today. Man, let's check up on these trash cans anyways. Yeah, I think I'm far enough away from uh, Penny. I don't have to worry about her yelling at me. But uh, yeah, this is where he lives. Yeah, 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 cool. Let me just walk into your house and give you a horseradish. So, uh, oh wait, hold on, that's a horseradish. Daffodil, there we go, yeah. Put that there, give you that. Cause I don't know if he actually likes the uh, horseradish. A birthday gift, that's very kind of you. I love it. Let's see if he actually did love it. Uh, where is he? He's at the very bottom cause he's brand new. He is, there he is. Uh, oh man, oh he loves pizza, cactus fruit, and maple. How do we know, oh wait, no, that's Sam. I clicked on the wrong person, What's... hold on. How do I get back? Uh, there he is, yeah, okay, you liked it. Okay, cool. And yeah, for golly, it's already the fourth of spring right now. That was super fast, you guys. Golly, let's also casually talk to him too. Are you friends with my son? Uh, not really. Which one? Not really that good of friends. I'm like only like one heart or something like that. You probably know him better than I do. Uh, doubt that. Hey, at least you're back home and you can get to know your son a little bit better, right? So you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. Yeah, a year later and you're <laughs> you're talking about <laughs> the first thing you have to say to me is so. Uh, you're a farmer, huh? <laughs> Hold on. That thing, or hold on, let me zoom in right there, boom. That we got a strange doll with that little figure, that little green thing with the shoes. If I gift that to Sam, is that going to be a loved gift? I don't know if I should do that. Ooh, you guys remember that from last episode or two episodes ago or whatever, right? Ooh, let me know in the comments down below. Should I gift him that strange doll we got like two episodes ago? Maybe. Anyway, speaking of maybe, maybe someday I could teach your, you can teach me how to grow vegetables. I don't know, just throw some seeds in the ground and then let the rain water it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hungry. Where's my, she's right behind you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this episode's already getting pretty heck long. I need to start thinking about ending it right now, right? So let me just go home and then, uh, I don't know, maybe at the beginning of next episode, we'll actually plant down all the garlic and, and then mix seeds and all that kind of stuff I've been talking about, right? But uh, I don't want to have this second episode reach like a billion years long or whatever. Hey, look at that. We have worms for the first time, like forever. And we got to Warp Totem Beach. Awesome. So we have that. We have daffodils over here. We have another, uh, oh wait, hold on. Dandelions. This is a daffodil. There we go. I'm gonna keep getting those mixed up. Uh, but let's just go home and I guess we'll do the outro and start looking forward to the next episode, you guys. Cool. So, uh, oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to water all the crops too. So I guess I'll water the crops while I'm doing my outro. So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. That way YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. And man, I was about to water right there. <laughs> there you go, now I'm out of water. Anyways, and there we go. Cool, so now I can actually save the game. Day four, spring year two. Oh man, yeah, I forgot we were trying to sell a bunch of stuff. Well, yeah, at least that's, it's at the end of a video or whatever. So at least, hey, look at that. We got 2100 gold right there at the end of a video. Uh, from selling all the heckin' pickled crystal fruits or whatever that is, right? Crystal fruit jam or whatever, jelly. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, when we start next episode, I'll be out right here at 3 p.m. or whatever, right? So anyways, until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. <laughs>